Good morning. It's uh, early on a Sunday morning and uh, I've got my daughters with me and we're going to drive down the Blue Ridge Parkway, which I've read is one of the most spectacular roads in the world. And it's curvy, not so much switchbacks, but long winding roads, which I suspect are perfect for this M5. So, uh, Stay tuned. I'm going to try to capture some of the footage of it and um, should be a good time. So enjoy. Now. Okay, so we've been cruising on the Blue Ridge Parkway now for about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. And if the map is any indication, we've got 250 miles of this. It is a spectacular road. We've seen one bend on one hairpin and it handled it like a champ. I was really impressed by it. My daughters are in the back seat and for the most part oblivious to what's going on. Although the older one seems to be into it a little bit more than the younger one. It just kind of goes to show though, it's the ultimate family holder. You've got this incredible sports car at the same time as four seats room for your whole family. Okay, so we've been on the Blue Ridge Parkway now for about a half hour, and so far it does not disappoint. We've only encountered one other car. It's an early Sunday morning. It's 9 a.m. right now. Um, I guess the good people of the world are at church. So, we've, uh, like I said, we've only encountered one car, and they were going painfully slow, but they pulled over at an overlook point and so we've been able to drive pretty much the way we want to ever since the uh, the roads are definitely long and curvy they aren't at least so far uh, I've only had one switchback Jeez. well there's a person and their dog um, I've only encountered one switchback and the car handled it like a champ it was in third gear and those wide 285 width tires just grip into the road. I had also read that the road has uh, a particularly grippy material to it that shreds tires, but it helps the cars stay firmly planted on the road, which is much appreciated. So the Blue Ridge Parkway is 500 miles long or nearly 500 miles long. We're covering a 250 mile stretch of it which is what the distance from what New York City to Boston I'm guessing it's a long way this was a, uh, a WPA project I believe or a Great Depression era project massive undertaking lives lost but now we have this beautiful road beautiful beautiful road It's consistently ranked among the the 10 greatest roads in the world. There's another deer. That's the fourth deer we've seen. That seems to be the biggest threat. Stay away from the deer. Keep your eyes open. But I'm here to tell you, this car is a beast, and it's so cool to get to use it for what it's sort of, you know, meant to do. It's nice to be able to, you know, work on my shifting skills and really get a sense for the car because otherwise there's just no place to drive it in the states we don't have the Audubon here where you can go 150 miles an hour all day so in order to really tap in to the the beast engine which doesn't truly come alive until say three four thousand rpm and doesn't uh i guess become explosive the way that m5s are famous until above 5500 rpm Grace, you just talked over me.
switchbacks. Just nice curves. Taking corners at 80 miles an hour. How cool is that? Pretty cool. No, I think it's 75. Well, at times it's at 75. Right now it's at 60. Okay, so we are 110 miles and, I don't know, an hour or so into our drive here. And this car has finally met its match in terms of roads. You've seen me do uh, a drive up a mountain before, but that was going up one mountain. This is a mountain range and it's 500 miles long we're only doing 250 miles today but oh it feels so good to be driving this car properly and for a long time it's not this this car isn't about hot rodding it's about going great distances very quickly very smoothly and that's what we're doing this morning instead of going on the interstate we're flying through this and my hope is we'll be faster than if we had gone on the interstate. We're certainly going the same speed. So, and it's so much more lively. I'm just having the best time. The, the car is having the best time. If the car could smile, it would be. Uh, I think my girls are having a pretty good time back there. So, it's just, it's great. Are you having a good time, girls? Yeah. Grace, are you having a good time? Okay, good. So anyway, great times to be had. Uh, I don't think that taking footage of what we're doing though really comes through. It's not very exciting, I would think, because we're really just driving through curvy roads quickly. And I don't know how well that, that the G-forces don't come through um, in the footage. And of course, every now and then we come upon a slow car. Okay, you can stop it now. Okay, so we're uh, climbing a mountain very quickly, and it is so much fun. Really, uh, the, the car, you can, you can feel the tires gripping the road. Um, it's really intense at parts, and in other parts, it's not so intense, but it's always great. The views are spectacular, of course. really liking having the stick too. I, I kind of am a bit insecure because I don't know how to heel and toe, but that hasn't really held me back this morning. For this, and just day to day, you don't, you don't think about it, but it's just, it's, it's built for the most extreme circumstances and it loves it when you do it. Okay, I gotta stop now.
Okay, so we spent most of the morning on the Blue Ridge Parkway or roads that were going parallel to it, which in some cases the roads going parallel to it were actually better than the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, I don't know if this is my bucket list material or not, but getting to drive the world's fastest production sedan. Grace, you need to be quiet, sweetie. I'm talking on the camera, okay? To get to drive the fastest production sedan ever on one of the 10 greatest roads ever is something we should all try to do, especially for those of us who like to drive fast. Uh, the morning, earlier in the morning, was much, much better. As it got to be 10, 11 in the morning, there, uh, there started to be more cars on the road and I had to pass them a lot and I got slowed down quite a bit. So, that's definitely something that's important to do, but if you have an M5 and you live in the U.S., it's one of the few places where you can really drive it. And it was great to get to drive it. I can tell that the car is happy. Uh, it, it truly does change personalities when you push it hard. It's, uh, it is a Jekyll and Hyde, and um, it's, it's been a lot of fun to get in at its element.